So I'm here to talk about the, the Prox Twin Fin. First of all, the twin fin is a board that I basically used a lot when I was a kid. It was uh, Mark Richards was was my inspiration back in the day, and, and the twin fin was a board that I started surfing when I was around about 13, 14 years old. It gave me a lot of speed, gave me a lot of speed to be able to do the, the kind of maneuvers I really wanted to do. The twin fin was basically one of the first boards where the aerial maneuver came into play, um, it, and it's very versatile as well. You can ride it in uh, small waves, you can ride it in hollow waves and uh, also in bigger ways too. I mean, I, I took my 510 to Hawaii one year and, and surfed it at Backdoor Pipeline and you know Rocky Point, all those kind of places. So everybody thinks a twin fin is a small wave board, but you can actually ride it in bigger waves. Especially this kind of twin fin, it's, uh, it's a little bit more pulled in at the tail. Um, it's, got, it's got some nice concave on the bottom. Um, you gotta keep the edge too, which is I think is very important on the twin fin. It, it just gives it that extra bite, but um, it's got a lot of fin in the water too. A lot of people think that a twin fin uh, slides a lot, but it doesn't. You know, if you if you really put the board on the rail and drive, the twin fin is going to give you as much drive as a thruster. But it also has that ability to slide too, which sliding in surfing at the moment is very big. So guys want to do tail slides. They want to do um, you know when they, they do the big cutback, they want to just let the, the tail drift. So a twin fin is a really good board for that. This one especially, 510, uh, 19 and a half. Pretty basic dimensions, but it's better to keep it that way. You don't want to you don't want to put too much into a twin fin. You want to keep it really basic. Why? Because uh, the twin fin goes so fast anyway that you don't want to you don't want to put too much more into the board. It's uh, as I said, very versatile, uh, very good all-round board. So if you want if you want a, a one-board quiver, this is the one to get. Perfect for onshore, offshore. Like I said, it's uh, you can ride it in no matter what kind of conditions. Uh, so for me, it's a very important board to have in my quiver. It's been around for a long time for me, uh, and I still to this day, I love riding them. They just give you the best feeling in the world. If you like to go fast, this is the board.